Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Big Ambitions, the game where you get to go from school dropouts with absolutely nothing to a Mr. Beast rivaling burger joint owner with also pretty much next to nothing. Mr. Engineer Burger is out of burger as well as soda cans. We're not selling anything, but don't worry, I've come up with a way to change my fortunes forever and I'm going to guide you through it step by step so you can become richer than your wildest dreams just like me. By the way, this video is sponsored by Shopify, but more on that later. So step one, leg work. Now, I don't mean running around constantly because you damage your car and can't afford a new one, nor do I mean going to the new gym. Keep calm and squat on, where you can spend 17 quid 50 to come over to the squat station and be told, you're too smart, go and get changed. Even though my suit is only on the top half, I do not understand their logic. Anyway, with us changed and very color coordinated, we can do some squats, but we can't actually watch ourselves because we got this box in the way. But anyway, that is not what I meant by legwork. So by legwork, I mean you've got to set up multiple businesses. We've got realcivilengineer.co here. This is where we sell my merch, the cheap gift, and I hired an employee and stuff. So this is making me constant money. Look, 541 quid every single day. And then because I'm hungry, I'm just going to buy a pizza from next door quickly. So consume that. Numb. Food is up top. Discard the wrapper just on the floor and then get out of it. Because Luca's Pizza are a rival to me. Because as we saw earlier, I own a burger joint. But I wouldn't have been able to afford this place without doing the legwork. Selling cheap knockoff gifts. So this brings us on to step two. Creating the best business idea that ever was. Now, I've obviously used my YouTube fame to compete with Mr. Beast Burger. So we have Mr. Engineer Burger here. Um, and we're so popular that we have actually run out of stock. So I'm going to go stock up and I'm going to show you guys exactly why this is the best burger store ever. But first off, I need a car. So on this map here, let's toggle on car dealership. Oh, there's one just down there. That is handy. So we'll run down this way. And here we are at shit. I mean, city cars. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, they are closed. They open in 11 hours. So I've got to find somewhere to sleep. Usually I would be sleeping in my car, but uh, I don't have a car because I accidentally bumped it a few too many times. Thankfully, if we run up this way, here is my apartment. Now I keep forgetting about this place, but I'm actually paying rent in it. So I should probably use it. Uh, let's get to bed and sleep. Yeah, longer than five minutes. You want to wake up just before the car dealership opens. So we'll get a nice eight hours, 52 minutes sleep and wake up to... <laughs> Oh, no. My two employees have called in sick, which means none of my shops are open and we're making a loss. So I need to sort this out stat. Oh, we did get 250 customers yesterday, though. Anyway, first thing this morning, we're going to run down to the car store. We're going to head inside and, oh, we get to pick a car. How much is that? 11 grand? Oh, no. These are all so expensive. But hello, hello. What do we have here? The Honza Mimic in bright pink. Purchase. Oh, yeah. So now we have the Honza Mimic. We can do what our Uncle Fred is telling us to do, which is visit the drive-in store. Uh, this is new with the update, by the way. So we're just going to drive to where we need to go. I need to drive this a bit more carefully than I did previously, because that's how I lost my last car. But uh, we'll head around here. Oh, my God. Well, that wasn't ideal, but we'll head down this way. Aha, and this is ooh, and this is the drive-in store. Why am I so bad at driving? So yeah, we can drive into this wholesale store where hopefully we can buy some burgers. So let's enter. And then, oh my goodness, I'm just driving around a store. All right, so Uncle Fred wants us to buy some stuff and play video games for an hour, apparently. But uh, sorry, Uncle Fred, I've got better ideas. I need to buy some food. So where's the burgers at? So in this stack are the best quality burgers you've ever seen in your life. Life. So we'll literally just fill up the car with burgers. And yeah, I'm sure I'm sure burgers being stacked on a shelf that clearly isn't refrigerated or anything. It's absolutely fine. They are high quality. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Uh, we then just need to keep driving around until we can see the soda cans. Soda can. So these are only 14 quid for 60. Oh my goodness. Let's stock up on these. So then you can see our storage is completely maxed. Eight out of eight. So let's get back in here and then let's drive out of this place. You have to pay for items before leave. Oh, I love <laughs> I'm loving this a drive through checkout. Oh my goodness, 580 quid. Well, you got to spend money to make money, as they say. But uh, now we're done, we can head back to our shop. Then we'll park this here. Oh, someone's in my spot. Oh no, that means I'm going to have to do a parallel park and everyone's watching. Wait, anyway, we're... wait, that guy just stole my spot. How am I meant to park in there now? Right, anyway, we got to do this. We got to do this. Reverse. All right, we're in. So we can press park vehicle. <laughs> 
And that is parked completely legally. And then our guy freaks out as he can't get to the boot. <laughs> right, let's just try and push the red car out. There we go. There we go. We've got access to the boot now. So it means that we can head inside with our burgers, stock up the grill, stock up the drinks fridge, and then remember that our employee, he pulled a sickie. And what else did he say that message? I'm sorry to inform you that due to low job satisfaction, I was... Oh, oh and the same thing happened at Real Civil Engineer. Got co... Oh, still, I guess if I'm showing you how this thing works, I should probably man the tilt. So we start working. We fast forward and then we watch the money come in as look at the customers queuing out the door but uh, we'll skip time to the end of the date and uh, just like that we're completely <laughs> completely out of stock again which for some reason makes me very sad i think because i'm completely exhausted hungry and have no happiness so first things first we head next door to our rival kebabs kebabs we try and get to the front of the queue and we buy a sat no a salad's not going to cheer us up a burger and fries and a drink oh but i gotta form the back of the queue that does make me sad so we'll eat these up discard the wrapper on the floor so they can clean it because they are my rivals remember bring more burgers inside i can't believe how many we sold look at all these customers just waiting around that is how you know you have a good business all right i'm just going to head to my car grab the rest of the stock shove it in the storeroom at the back have a look at our total profit for the day nice and then get in my car and go for a snooze all right so the next morning my employee has actually shown up so norcliffe is working in it i think he pulled a sickie yesterday he wasn't the one that quit he pulled a sickie uh, oh, what's this? Do order free? Can I actually eat my own profits now? It cost me nothing. Oh, he's cooking. Okay, so <laughs> he's giving me a burger which I can eat. Oh, finally. That wasn't actually in the game last time I played, so I'm loving that. But yeah, you can see you can see today, not as many people. I guess they're going somewhere else for food in the morning. Maybe kebabs, kebabs, or Joe's hot dogs, or the other branch of kebabs, kebabs. The thing is, there's so much choice on this road, and the amount of customers just driving straight past past is not ideal hence i need a big marketing push but that is not step three that's one of the later steps step three is making money to afford the big marketing push so in order to pull this off we're going to need more money than we have we currently have 4700 quid but i need more so i'm gonna head to the bank which is up that way so we'll get in my car which <laughs> The front of it does not look healthy. But, oh, I need to get better at driving. Anyway, we'll park up here outside the bank, head inside, and I need to try and get a loan. Hi, Larry. I need I need a new loan, please, mate. How much can I borrow? Ah, oh, that's too much. They can give me 40 grand. Okay, we'll take 40 grand. Oh, I already have a loan, don't I? I already have a 15 grand loan. I forgot about that. So I guess for now, 25 grand is the most I can borrow. Nice. So now I've got 29 grand on me, which is the perfect amount to go do some money making. Now you would think, well, Matt, surely you're just going to build more and more shops. No, no, no. Thanks to another fellow Brit, I have a way of making money that's even easier than all that. So on the map, we need to head all the way down to here, the four pier. And I'm going to have to wait till Friday evening. So I guess I won't go wait there now. We'll head back to my store where, oh, look at this parking. Look at this parking. <laughs> Well, I'm essentially just going to sleep until it's Friday. Now, we're still making money because of our employees, but I do need to make sure I keep going to get food. Otherwise, I will end up in hospital, and that is pricey. We are not in Britain anymore. So back to kebabs, kebabs. Consume, litter, sleep. All right, then we've just had news that Northcliffe, he's, he's complaining. His satisfaction isn't very high. I don't know why. He wants, he wants part-time work between 10 and 30 hours a week. I've been very generous to him. I've given him 168 hours a week. I don't understand why he's so unhappy. But no, I am actually going to be nice. I'm going to have to change my opening hours. So he's on 28 hours a week. Hopefully that will cheer him up. Theo's also complaining. They want between 30 and 50 hours a week. They're currently on 168 as well. Uh, they also want no morning shifts. So after 10 a.m. Okay, massively reduced opening times. But uh, hopefully that means they won't quit. And I can get back to eating my kebab, littering on the floor, and sleeping in my car. The important stuff in life. Right. Well, they still called in sick. Not ideal, but we've got bigger fish to fry today. We have got to head to that pier. So we're down by the seaside. Got to head along this way around here. We'll park in a parking space. It costs five quid. Oh, fine. <laughs> And then we head along this pier because at 6 p.m. every single Friday, something magical happens. I get to tell you about today's video sponsor, Shopify. Shopify is a commerce platform that allows you to start, manage, and grow your business. You can follow in my footsteps, leave the 9 to 5. 
which was more like an eight to six if i'm honest and start that business idea from your very own bedroom you can sell online in person and across all major social platforms but not just that if you want to scale your one-man show into a sizable team then shopify has all the tools to support you on your journey go to shopify.com forward slash real civil engineer to get started with a free trial because your idea might just be a dream today but using shopify you can easily turn it into an actual business like the millions of other businesses in 175 countries currently using shopify to sell their products so thank you once again to shopify for supporting the channel let's get back to my in-game business but no 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 actually if we head over to this building the ticket house we can buy a casino boat ticket it costs five grand but trust me it's gonna work out fine. So we'll place an order. Right, I've just realized I'm I'm actually still hungry. So I probably shouldn't go yet. We've got we've got a couple of hours. So let's just run up this way. Ugh, green salad. Fine. Oh, they sell burgers. Decent. Litter on the floor. Okay, now we've got half an hour to get back so we can go buy a boat ticket. Uh, and if you're wondering why I didn't take my car, I didn't want to pay for parking twice. So <laughs> Yes, I'm a cheapskate. That's because we haven't won big at the casino yet. So you can see it's now 6 p.m., which means as we head down here, look, the casino boat. So buy a ticket for five grand, get on the boat, and then we head into international waters where gambling is allowed. So we're now in the casino, which means we can make some money. Now, before we do anything, we've got to do one thing. That is make a new save game. So if you name it that, you'll get some extremely good luck. No, they've patched it. Well, I guess we need another way that we can do this. Legitimately. So yeah, since this is just a game, I can't actually use Shopify. I'm going to have to try and do this legit. So I'm going to be gambling with my actual money on the line. Uh, shall we start with 10 thousand okay so we're playing blackjack oh i'm not liking my odds i'm not liking my odds they have a queen they only need a 10 and then i've lost i have a 10 and a 3 so let's hit okay that's not bad 19 do we think they're gonna get above 19 let's all yes yes we won okay so i guess we just go again 10 grand we got a two and a six they've got a 10 as long as they don't get an ace i could be good if i can get oh low cards yes we go again okay i can't believe it i can't believe it they got blackjack we just lost 10 grand we go again so i got 21 they've got 18 yes i win 10 grand so do i walk away with 10 grand the trouble is i'm gonna need a lot more money than that a lot more i assume i still can't save no cheeky devs i'm gonna have to win money legitimately let's try this table let's just go 15 and 8 and a 9 oh no <laughs> what does insurance do i'm gonna do insurance oh that costs seven and a half grand now i can twist oh i got 21 i win 15 grand okay we're up to 41 grand let's go back to this table i'm gonna do 15 again Yes, we won 15 grand. I think that's the key. Just keep going between tables. I can't lose. I'm just going to keep doing this and then hopefully it'll all pay off. All right, so the good news is we, we are a successful gambler. We've got 69,696,900. It rounded up to 70. Still nice. And the other good news is while we were away, I think changing the wants and demands has actually made our, made our employees satisfied. They're at 70% satisfaction. Maybe it's because they know I'm now a multi-millionaire. Who knows? But what I do know is we are ready for step four of the plan, the huge marketing push. Now, this one's fairly simple. Essentially, we got to get in your car and then before we drive off, we need to have a look at the map. So this is the map and I've turned on all the fast food restaurants. So they're all in orange. You can see R1 here. It has the little key symbol. Now, there are some competitors on our street, but there's also competitors dotted about all over the map. So my thinking is if I can direct people to to my restaurant and get them to avoid other restaurants then customers will have no choice but to use one of the restaurants on this street and one of them is mine so it's a one in six chance that we'll be making profit okay so let's start with sixth avenue i don't want people going up eighth street because there's a restaurant there i don't want them going up seventh street because there's one there they can go up that one, 6th Street, but not 5th or 4th or 3rd, etc. So if we go back to our car, we can literally just drive. Then if we park our car like that, yes, it's illegal, so we will get a parking fine. Hence all the money we needed. But that should mean people won't drive up and down there. They'll just be stuck on this road. So no one can get to the burger joint up there, one of my rivals. Next up, we jump in a taxi, head to... Sh 
city cars. And then we go and buy another Honza Mimic for two and a half grand. So we head to our car and then we go and block the next road. So that goes there. Then we purchase another Honza. Go and block the next road. And then we just repeat that a few more times. Six and a half hours later. All right, so part of my plan involves buying a load of these trucks and just blocking up some of these roads. So we'll just drive this down here to the last road, block it up nicely, and then, ooh, I've received some messages from the city of New York government. Uh, parking violation, 125 quid. Oh, that's, that's a lot of cars. Yeah, because unfortunately, it's not just this truck that's parked here. If you look on the map, as people enter 6th Avenue, every single passage is blocked. Until we get to this point where <laughs> I've got a few cars to direct people up here, around here, to my restaurant. And the same for people coming in this side. They they can't go up that road, so they've got to go up this one. They've got to go around this one. Anyway, I've just come to the car shop. I Oh, I was about to buy a Honza Mimic, but I just realized I've got 69 million quid. I can travel in luxury. So what do I want for my car? we got like some Mercedes looking ones, a Mustang, some sort of Porsches. Oh, but what's this one in the middle? The Petrolis Phantom. You know, I have that in a nice shade of pink, please. 720 grand. I mean, to be fair, it looks nice. Oh, wow. It is quick as well. It is quick. But yeah, essentially, if you enter the city from down this way, you'll be directed along here. You can see on the left all the trucks. You cannot go up those roads. And if you're wondering what was causing the curve for us to go left, I've parked loads and loads of Hondas. So we head up this way. Then when we get up here, yep, a whole lot more Hondas. And hopefully we'll see like queues and queues of traffic using my burger joint because uh, this is the it's the only place they can go. Oh my, hang on. I've just realized auto park. So if I press auto park, it parks for me without smashing into anything. This is the best car ever. Anyway, this is phase five of the plan completed. You might be wondering, well, what's phase six, Matt? Well, there wasn't going to be a phase six because I thought this would just attract constant customers because there's nowhere else for people to go entering and leaving the city. However, I don't see anyone around. Yeah, standing here for a little bit, I can see we are very popular. The downside is we keep running out of burgers. So there's two solutions to this. One, I just spend 68 million on burgers. Never run out of stock. Alternatively, what if I buy a store that is already up and running? They have constant stock. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Let's open in the biz, man. Kebabs, kebabs. They've looked after me. They might give me mates rates. Uh, the estimated valuations. 1.6 million. I assume that's for all of them and not just one, right? Let's send a business overtake offer of $2 million. Oh, accepted. You're now the owner of Kebabs Kebabs. Oh, nice. And we've taken on all their employees, which aren't going to quit because they're all spread out properly. Well, what about Joe's Hot Dogs? What's that worth? 1 million. Oh, my goodness. How about 1.1? Oh, I was rejected. Fine. 1.5 was rejected. Fine. 2 million and I own it. Just Gene. I don't even think they sell food, but they do now because I'm the owner. And of course, who could forget Luca's Pizza? This has got to be worth a big one. Oh, only a million. Well, I have two million for helping me out, Lucas. Oh, wait. No, I've just realized I was only buying the individual stores. The one next door I don't own. What? Our business is worth so much money. They're not even making me money. I just lost four grand. Not only that, I've just received 50 parking tickets. <laughs> Oh, and it gets worse. It gets worse. I can't even afford the mega yacht. It's 90 million. I thought I was like super rich. But I'm not. Stop giving me parking tickets. Well, the good news is I'm back. I, I won big on the casino again. We have the 90 million we need. Let's pick a nice blue boat. Or oh, actually, I'll just do classic white. And now own a mega yacht. Let's go relax in style. Relax just forever. Just 24 hours. This is all I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Right, good news is that we are making fat profit on the businesses. 15 grand a day. The bad news is, look at all the, <laughs> all the negatives from the parking tickets. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I have spent all my money <laughs> on parking tickets pretty much. I mean, I do have a snazzy yacht to show you for it, I guess. But Oh, hello. Where are all these people going? There's so many people. What's that? You're all going to Mr. Engineer Burger. Yes, I've done it. I've achieved. This is all... Oh, no, that guy just flattened everyone. Well, anyway, that just goes to show you a lot of hard work and a lot of parking cars in bad places can make you rich beyond your wildest dreams, at least until you have parking tickets to pay. So on that note, I'll say peace, love, and Mr. Engineer Burger. Bye, guys.